All right, what is up, Rad Potential YouTube, and welcome to today's Rad Formational video on the Rad Potential YouTube channel. First things first, I bought a new camera. It's called the Insta360 ONE R. You'll notice right now that it does not look like it can film in 360. However, I have 360 modes and options, all sorts of cool lens attachments and stuff to put on it. It's still being configured because, you know, internet and stuff, and I gotta figure that out, and I couldn't figure it out for today's video, so we're filming on the trusty cyber shot. Now to today's topic, sunroofs. Mazda had two styles of sunroofs that, that they produced. However, dealerships could have installed any random sunroof in your car. So if you have the Space Bubble Jetson sunroof, that sucks. Or it's super cool if it doesn't leak. But the normal style sunroofs looked like this from the outside. This is a 79, and we're going to look at the 85, or the later model ones. And I have the mechanism all taken apart to show you. So, 79, it's a pin style, meaning you have that latch and this latch right here. Okay. Just like this. This piece is removable. You can pop this pin down, it slides over, kind of like a bolt action deal. Slides over, the sunroof hooks out, the pin comes off back here. Okay, dimensionally, it's pretty much the same. Now, for the majority of you, you probably have an FB, and an FB or a 1980 is gonna have a sunroof like this with the crank dial. And you're gonna twist the dial, and it's gonna go up. And then you have latches and stuff up here to be able to remove it. Now, there's a glass version for both of these cars. Let me get this thing closed. We can't be having a leak in my new GSLSE. But, look out, doggo. There's a glass version for both of those cars. Um, the 79s are their own specific thing. The 80s and up are like that. Now, we're going to look at my silver car. And this is the reason that this video is getting made. Most of you, most likely, have a broken sunroof flash. It's typical, you put it like a, I mean, if you set a basketball up here and try to crank it up, it'll probably strip out the mechanism. So, when I bought the silver car, the sunroof mechanism was broken. And when the sunroof mechanism is broken, you cannot lock your sunroof. If you notice right now, it won't go up because I've since fixed it, but I put these little latches in here to be able to hold it shut. So we're gonna go ahead and open this one, which is fixed, by the way. So in order to get it completely off, you have to reach under here, pull both of the front latches back to unlock it. There's a safety latch on the driver's side you click, and this thing folds up. So you can see right there, I'm missing a screw, the little tabs on the front that hold it in in my fancy brackets. So, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take this sunroof panel off the car and we're gonna go into the shop. So, let's go to the shop. Um, these sunroof pieces are getting harder to come by that aren't rusty, so if you have a nice one, keep it nice. If you have a glass one, kudos to you because you have some rare bits. So, let me clear up some space. Break everything in this box. Alright, now we can lean this up safely without scratching it or tearing it up. Alright, stay. So, you're going to ask, why do I have these here? Well, this latch is busted, the spinny part, which is this piece. The spinny part was busted, so you couldn't lock it down. And you might say, okay, well it's locked to the sunroof, so you're only going to be able to open it the six inches. Well, you saw, I literally could just take the sunroof out. So, it was nice though, because if I locked my keys in my car, I could get them. But, we didn't need that. So, right here, this is your standard Harbor Freight clamp latch. When you push this down, as I knock my sunroof over and break everything, it locks down like that, and it presses against the inside of the roof, holds the sunroof in so you can't remove it. So, literally, self-tapping screwed into here. I pre-drilled the holes. These are really short screws, but it goes through the, the panel, okay? One on each side, nothing crazy, right? That's how I was able to lock my sunroof and not get people in there. If you have a glass one, you're pretty much, you can't do that because you can't put drill screws in the glass. Now, fixing your sunroof is a whole nother topic. If you haven't seen the inner workings of this, I suggest you take it apart. So, how this mounts to the car is it's going to have this plate right here. Okay, four bolts in that plate. 
mounts on there. These two tabs here are what clip in to these main two pieces here, like so. So you got the back latch, you have these two front latches right there. So that's how that locks in. So in order to move it, you're going to push both of these down, and it's going to release the front bit of it to here, and then you have to use this latch to release the tab. Anyways, once you pop this off, you'll have access to the inside of this, of which you can take this the rest of the way apart. Okay. So once you take this the rest of the way apart, you're going to see the super awesome spinning mechanism on the inside that makes this whole deal work. And let me put you all down for a second. Okay. So see how when I spin this, the whole thing grows in length. Okay. So you'll see it's going to come all the way off. I got all the nuts and bolts and stuff stored down in there. Right. It does lock. You can't take it the rest of the way apart from here. Now, you're going to see these threads, typically they break right in here. If you take that screw out that's down in the hole, let me get a light. So if you take the screw out that's down in the bottom of that, you can take this whole threaded piece off. Okay. So here's it in reverse, it sucks itself all the way back down and into there. So with that screw out, the threaded piece comes off. Generally what happens, the threaded piece will crack or it'll break out. The uh, the bottom of this will break off or you'll over tighten it and strip. There's like a spline in the end of this thing down here that, that, that you'll break. So typically that's what you do. I'm going to go ahead and pull that off. Okay. So. Right here is what generally breaks on these. You're going to see those splines in here. All right, You'll strip those out or you can crack apart this bit here. can somehow come apart. I mean it all kind of just threads in there. Um, keep it well greased. Or here, this is actually metal on this side. The splines down in there. So you can see that nonsense. So, in order to fix it, and what I did on my silver car, basically that piece and the bottom of that just have to be permanently affixed to each other, right? In order for this to spin up and down. Now, if the screw's not there or this is all broken, you can simply, it is keyed, it has a flat side, take this and put it back on here and put some glue in there such that once you put it all together and it's glued in, it just stays Put together. Where's this key side at? It sucks as all this stuff spins. So, big long screw. It's got the little hex thing to keep it from turning the outer part. That bit goes all the way back down in there. This is also a pain in the butt to get started because it's a raised center and the screw doesn't just quite fall into place, we'll say. Luckily, we're talking with a pro and we know how to put sunroofs together. Okay, so once you get that all back together, you're good, you can put this thing in your car. That's basically it for the sunroofs. I've seen some of them crack some of these apart. Um, usually it's always the spinning mechanism. You'll, you'll twist the knob and nothing will happen and it busts out the bottom of the, the sunroof. So, if your stuff's broken, that means you can't prop it up, um, you could probably find a way to keep it up um, if you maybe use those Harbor Freight latches. I think you can open it far enough, flip those up, and then close it, and the latches will rest on the car right here, so it'll hold your sunroof up. Do keep in mind, though, at approximately 80 miles an hour, 85 miles an hour, if it's not, like, mildly retained, um, it may eject Ocedo off the car. So I've got a couple here. Charles has one. I've got one that are all wrecked because it flew off the car when we were trailing at home. So there's that. The wind deflector right here makes an astounding difference. If you have one and you're driving down the road, flip it down like this. The wind will keep it there. Notice how much extra wind noise happens inside your car. A lot. The other thing, sunroof drains while we're here. This drain goes down the A-pillar and out in the back of the fender. This drain right here comes out this vent. 
you can simply clean these with like some welding wire or a uh, coat hanger, long screwdriver, blow it out with air, you name it, get them clean. Typically, if you have sunroof rust, it's because the drains are clogged up. So, I believe we've covered it all. I apologize if you watched the whole video and didn't see your brand of sunroof in there because some of them are weird and there's some weird dealer installed options that are ovals and bubbles and squares and rectangles and more towards the back or the front or whatever and uh, you'll just have to fend for yourself. I know there are companies that sell very simple little aluminum plates you can rivet screw to your roof and block your sunroof off. I prefer to have the sunroofs because my head can stick out of them. Um, before I had my race seat that got me lower, my head would be closer to the top, which is no bueno. But, uh, but yeah, that's RX-7 sunroofs in a nutshell and how the, uh, the little plastic thing works. So if you can find a couple of those, like that's a spare one that I have here. Obviously, I don't own a 79. I just have the 80 and the rally car is a slick top, so I don't need it. But I was able to glue mine back together and make it work. Hopefully, you can fix yours. Get a spare one if you have one. I don't know what they're going for. And no... Mine is not for sale. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to see some more rotary stuff. And uh, the last video is over here. Keep it red.